actually a job of me selling women a 12-week program on how to attract their soulmate. And I'm thinking, like, I'm a dude. Like, you want me to hop on a Zoom call or you want me to have, you know, conversations with women? And I was like, hey, why not? Like, challenge accepted, right? So I went for it. Learned a lot from the two mentors that worked for that organization about manifesting. I wasn't quite ready for, like, the level of responsibility that that role entailed, so it didn't work out just due to law of attraction and where I was at belief-wise, long story. It was a mirror. I was talking to women that were just like me. Like they were going through the exact same thing that I had just gone through. Different stories, but still the same exact thing. Like I'm on the phone talking to women that think and feel just like I do. It was crazy. It was an exact perfect mirror. Um, which is probably why I did so well out because I understood what they were going through, right? You know, I'm doing meetings with the mentors there. I'll never forget it. Like the mentor is like outside and she's like, oh, look, a butterfly. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know, whatever. Like butterfly, whoop de doo right? Over the next few months, I would proceed to see butterflies like every other day. Um, I didn't really know the significance of that. The intricate things that you would normally not pay attention to, that they're out there. Like they're there to be seen if you actually take the time if you're actually not like distracting yourself, right? I'm in suburbia. I'm realizing I'm stuck in these patterns that I don't want to be stuck in anymore, but I'm, I feel like I'm trapped, right? I feel like I'm in this prison. Like I'm waking up, I'm doing the exact same thing every day. I started journaling, I started meditating. I mean, hours a day, lots and lots of meditation, like really taking my attention from out everywhere else and just bringing it in. And I can't tell you how important that is, like to, you know, in between the years, right? Like what's going on inside of yourself is way more important than anything. Any other person, family, video games, your job, money, you know, your mental health, your emotional well being, your nervous system is the most important thing because it affects how you show up in life, in your life, in people's lives, how impactful you can be, the mood that you're in. It affects everything. You know, I'm like, I mean, it's probably like March, April at this point. So I'm making headway on the, the self-love and I'm getting really healthy and I'm working out and I'm meditating and, you know, I'm journaling and I'm getting, I'm starting to get really clear on what I want to do. And I'm like, you know what? I can't be playing Evan anymore. I can't be coaching players anymore. I can't have a YouTube channel about video games anymore because I know why people are gaming. It doesn't align with me. I'm going to, I'm going to move. I was in suburbia. You know, there's kids everywhere. Like, I just got done doing the family thing. Like, my son was, you know, turning 17 at the time. So I was like, I need to change. So, like, I thought about energy and where I wanted to live. And I really like the idea of living in downtown Orlando. It's a big city with skyscrapers and, you know, bars and nightclubs and just a lot of life and business. Like, there's just a lot of energy in downtown Orlando. And I was like, man, I haven't been out there in forever. I don't even know what the, you know, what the vibe is like. It sounds good, right? So it's like a, it's like a Thursday and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go out and I'm just going to go to a bar by myself, which was a really big deal for me because I'd never done that either. Usually I got to have friends with me or I'm not doing anything right, but it was time for me to be self-sufficient. So I knew I was going to be drinking. I called an Uber. I hopped in the Uber. I'm on my way. I'm talking to the driver and, and he's like, you know, Hey, like you meeting friends? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm just going to go out to this bar. I'm going to go out and just, you know check it out see you see what's what he's like oh man like you're going out by yourself like I could never do that he's like is it ladies night and I'm like I don't think so he's like oh well you know whatever I was just like whatever dude so so I'm at this bar and I had no intentions on meeting anybody nobody I'm just there like in my own little world like kind of envisioning like what would it be what would it feel like if I lived here right so I'm at the bar and like there's people there and I start talking with this woman that's sitting next to me. And she's a little bit younger uh, than I am, probably like 15 years younger. <laughs> um, but she mentioned that she wants to get into sales. And that's just my background. That's what I do. So we start talking, whatever. We exchange phone numbers. Um, like maybe like an hour passes by. And then I get a tap on the shoulder. And this other woman, a little bit older my age, like starts talking. I spend a good couple hours getting to know her. We exchange phone numbers. So I went out that night and I had no intention on meeting anybody. It was just for me to get out of the house and see if I wanted to actually move to downtown Orlando. I ended up getting two phone numbers that night, woohoo, right? Um, a week later, I ended up taking the, the older woman out for lunch or I meet her in downtown Orlando again. And we meet in Lake Eola and she, you know, I told her to just pick the place because I don't know anything out there really. So she picks a place 
and we meet up and we start walking, which is probably like a 10 minute walk to where the restaurant was at. And we're walking there and she just calls an audible. Like we walk by this restaurant right there in the park and she's like, Hey, like, let's just go ahead and eat there. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we go inside, we sit down. And as soon as we sit down, the waitress that comes up, it happens to be that other lady I had met that same night as her. It's like, I got two phone numbers. Well, I'm there on a lunch date with one of them. And the waitress is the other one that I had met. The really cool thing about this story is that woman that I was at the lunch with, um, we end, up, we end up hanging out all day. I go back to her place at night and she lives in a skyscraper in downtown Orlando, which is the whole reason why I went out there. And you know, I'm standing in her living room and I'm looking out at the balcony and I see like the view of Orlando and it's beautiful, right? But I got the realization, I was like, you know what? Like, I was like, I can do better than downtown Orlando. That's not big enough. And that's what really set me on my path to go, you know, to travel around the world for the whole year was me being in that moment so these little things like i never paid attention to them before it's, i stopped distracting it's when i stopped playing video games i stopped watching tv like i started getting an alignment within myself within a very short time period i'm seeing butterflies that represent rebirth i'm having deep meaningful conversations on the phone with people that just uh, reappeared in my life that were gone that are praying on the phone with me because that's what i wanted to me going out to you know to look at places for me to live and for me to meet two people one night to happen to run into those same two people again a week later to be inside of a condo that I was thinking about buying for me to have the realization that I needed to think bigger man like I'm sharing this with you guys because all these things are out there for anybody that believes that they're there but you know as long as you're you know, waking up and you're thinking about your job and money and stresses and what's on TV tonight and what's going on with video games and what am I doing this weekend and like needing like other things like there's a whole like another universe waiting with inside yourself that is so much fun like ah, oh, it's just like amazing like I can't ex express this enough like what you guys are missing out on because it's not, I'm not some special like snowflake like this is available to anybody that chooses that really chooses the lifestyle and I know that may sound woo woo right like oh like sure but it's not because you think it it's not because you write it down it's because you believe it it's because you are in alignment and you believe it within yourselves because you're living and breathing it and you're sacrificing the things that you know you shouldn't be doing and that's what the rewards are so I'm going to pause there. The next video that I do is going to talk about the only people I met overseas were yoga instructors, um, whether it be in Egypt or like Milan, <laughs> which is totally random, right? To, you know, me following signs and signals that had to do with Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Nikola Tesla, these things that just popped up that were synchronicities for me to follow. That I'm still following now. That's the way I live my life. Uh, the people that I would meet um, really, really crazy stuff. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys really in hopes to spark, you know, some type of curiosity. You know, I don't think, I think a lot of you guys watching this are probably going to be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like what? Like, huh? Which, you know, I get it. You would have told me a, you know, a year and a half ago that I'd be making a video about this in full alignment and belief of all of these magical things. I'd be like, get out, you know, get out of here. Like no way. But you know, having experienced it, like I'll never go back to the way that things were, like 100%. So uh, 